Now is the time for our children's message with Miss Edwina and craft time with Miss Danielle. And as we prepare for craft time this day, I'd like to wish all of the uh, men out there a happy Father's Day. Good morning, boys and girls. First of all, I want to congratulate all of you from finishing your school year. Congratulations to Spencer, who graduated from high school with honors. Many of you are moving up to the middle school or in new grades. I hope you have a wonderful summer and you have a lot to look forward to in September when you start your new adventures. Well, today I don't have my Disney bag with me, but I did bring something else. I bought one of my favorite Disney cups. And you're probably wondering why she got a coffee cup. Well, I'm sure your parents are a lot like I am. First thing I do in the morning is I have to put my coffee on. My cat thinks I'm bad because she thinks she should be fed ahead of coffee, but I have to have my coffee. And then so many of you say, I can't start my day without coffee. I need it to pep me up. I need it to get me in a right frame of mind. And I was thinking about my cup of coffee and you know, there's something else that can do the same thing for you. If you get up in the morning, you start your day, if you were to pray to Jesus, ask him to be with you and help you, to guide you, if you were to read your Bible or think about all the wonderful things Jesus has done for in your life, it would give you the same pep and joy and happiness as probably the first cup of coffee. Matter of fact, I think it would probably even make you happier. So when you see your moms and dads grabbing that first cup of coffee in the morning, think, I can pray to Jesus and that's gonna give me the same joy and happiness. Have a wonderful week. I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Okay. Hi everyone, Hi. hope you had a great week. This week in your envelope, you should have an orange piece of paper that's folded. Do not um, start unfolding it, we're gonna get to that. You should have this week's lesson, your bulletin, and the instructions. Before we start on this, we're going to listen to a reading from Noah. Today's scripture is Matthew chapter 10, verse 31, and Genesis chapter 21, verse eight through 21. Reading, knitting, and photography are popular hobbies. Some people like to build things like model cars or airplanes. Others may enjoy outdoor activities like fishing or hiking. Do you think God is a hobby? Okay, I know the Bible doesn't tell us that God is a hobby, but if he did, do you know what I think it might be? Bird watching. If I use my imagination, I can see God sitting in heaven with a pair of binoculars. Perhaps he has a book with pictures of all the beautiful birds he has created, and he is trying to see how many of them he can find with his binoculars. If I really stretch my imagination, I can hear him saying, there's a bluebird and a cardinal. Oh look, there's an eagle, a meadowlark, and a sparrow. A sparrow. Of course you would see a sparrow. There are millions of them. You've seen them. Common, ordinary, brown, brown sparrows. But God must have loved them because he made so many of them. One day Jesus was teaching his disciples that they should not be afraid. Jesus said, don't be afraid when people threaten you. Two sparrows are sold for a penny, but not a single sparrow falls to the ground without your father knowing it. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. A, sp a sparrow means like a common bird, or seems like a common bird. At it has been said, God has, God must have, God must have loved the common people because He made so many of them. I don't think that God sees us as common or ordinary. If He did, He would not love us in such an uncommon and an extraordinary way. The Bible says, "Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you." We are more precious to Him than a whole flock of sparrows, and we know how much He loves the sparrow. So this week, we're going to make origami birds for our fathers for Father's Day. When you take your piece of paper out of your envelope, it's going to look something like this. This is steps one and two already done. What you're going to do is starting on step three, you're going to open your paper back up. You're gonna turn your paper over so the flap is in the front. You're gonna take the bottom corner of the top layer and fold it up like this. Fold the figure in half by folding the left side over to the right. Now fold the same flap back like this to make one of the wings. Fold the other wing back also. 
Now you're going to push down the tip to make the head. Take down the sides and there's your origami bird for Father's Day. Dear God, we know that we are precious in your sight. Thank you for loving us with such an uncommon and extraordinary love. In Jesus' name, amen.